Hello, blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. This is Bishop James Hansensaki, and I'm very honored to be alive. And I believe that it's also a blessing to be alive. Happy New Year. And this morning, it is my greatest privilege to bring you God's word of hope for your day today, especially on this beautiful New Year's Day that the Lord has enabled us to see. This is the beginning of new things to come. This is the beginning of greater things to come. And we want to believe God that this year shall be a good year. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want to speak to you on trusting and hoping in the mercy of God. And I want to speak to you from Psalm 33, verses 18 to 19. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. See, our God is not an impersonal God. Our God is not an object. He's got eyes so he can see. What you are going through, he can see. Some of you have begun this new year with great hope, even though sometimes there is also a tinge of despondency and doubt and not knowing what is going to happen again this year. After what we saw in 2020, after what Corona has done and all the devastation it has brought in its wake, we're looking forward. We have entered a new year and we are entering by faith. But the scripture says, behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. On those who hope in his mercy. God's eyes are on those who fear him. It's very, very important. You must have a fear of God. And this fear is not being afraid of God, but actually being in a state of reverence to God. A life of honor to God. Live your life in holiness to God. I've always taught you that righteousness is imputed based on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. When we say something is imputed, it means the thing has been credited to your account. You didn't work for it. Jesus paid the price on the cross, shed his blood, and it appeased God. And it was enough for your sins to be forgiven if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the Bible says that when we do so, then we have received the righteousness of God. In other words, we are having right standing with God. Now, after we have received right standing with God, we then have to walk in obedience to the word of God. That way, then we are walking in holiness. And therefore, holiness is the means by which we maintain the righteousness that has been purchased for us. And then when we walk in holiness, it is one of the clear signs that you fear God. You revere God. You obey his commandments. Then the Bible describes people as those who fear God. It's talking about those who obey the commandments of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, our God is a God of love. He's a God of mercy. He's a God who helps, but he's a God of conditions. And therefore, the fear of the Lord is key. And the Bible says God's eyes are on those who fear him. And his eyes are on those who have hope in his mercy. Today, as we begin a new year, I pray that your hope will not be in government. Your hope will not be in another human being. Humans can fail. Humans can turn their backs on you. Family can betray. Family can deny. Friends can deny. But your hope should be in God Almighty. And the Bible says God's eyes are on those who also hope in his mercy. He is a God of mercy. Your hope should be in the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord is that aspect of God's nature that is dis bestowed upon humans that diverts the consequences of our past. When mercy is shown to us, what we should suffer for, we are no longer suffering from it. We are exempted from it. And the Bible says we should hope in his mercy. This year, hope in the mercies of the Lord. It is of the Lord's mercies according to Lamentations chapter 3 and the verse number 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. His mercies are new every morning. This new year, there is a new mercy coming your way. Your hope should be in the mercies of the Lord. And the Bible says when our fear is in him and our hope is in his mercy, this is the side effect. So that the Lord will deliver their soul from death. I pray the Lord will deliver your soul from death. You will not die this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will deliver your soul from death. Every satanic program death, every death, 
death by suicide, death by cancer, death by incurable diseases, death through curses, every form of spoken, written, and imagined curse. I pray that the Lord will deliver your soul from death and to keep you alive in the seasons of famine. In the seasons of famine, the Lord will keep you alive. When you hope in his mercy, he will deliver you from death and he will keep you alive in famine. That is why the psalmist said, I am old and I have, grow I have been young and I have grown old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken and his seed will not beg for bread. You will not beg for bread. God will keep your source of livelihood intact for you. The Lord will promote you even in the midst of famine. You will get a new job. You will get a new promotion. You will get a new solution to issues that you have been dealing with. May the mercies of the Lord be extended to you as you hope in his mercy and as you walk in the fear of the Lord. May the Lord deliver your soul from death. May all the 12 months of the year 2021, may your life be preserved in it in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord keep you alive in famine. In the state of confusion, may you have solution. May you find direction in the midst of darkness. May there be a way where there seems to be no way. May Jehovah preserve you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord honor his name in your life and in your family as you hope in his word. In Jesus' name, I pray that God will activate these scriptures and this prayer over your life. As you begin this new year, may these scriptures become the standing orders over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will finish very well. This new beginning will come with a greater end. I love you and I declare over your life, it shall be well with you in Jesus' most excellent and holy name. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. You are above and not beneath. You are more than a conqueror. And understand, life is better lived in Christ Jesus. Have a blessed, peaceful, fruitful, and productive day. Happy New Year once again.